Hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vodblitz universe. You're watching Vodblitz Addict again, and today I have a heavy tanking, let's say, tutorial guide. Uh, it's basically I'm playing Love here, and uh, this game is actually from mastery from my uh, Klamit Kura. But I want to show you how to heavy tank and how to play Love because Love is one of those tanks that's pretty underrated but if you angle it uh, well as you can see you can get a lot a lot of bounces uh, and this tank uh, especially is very underrated by the players uh, they uh, mostly advise it to play as a sniper tank because of the gun and uh, yeah true the gun really works wonders but uh, you can easily frontline this tank which you can see uh, in uh, you will see in uh, in uh, many of my games uh, and uh, in general in games here I just uh, let's say cut it some parts because uh, otherwise this video would be like 30 40 minutes long and I want uh, just to make as short as uh, possible just look at the angling here how uh, how uh, how he angles the tank to get uh, shots and get bounces uh, at the same time so you can see you will see also a uh, lever he's facing lever how strong it is uh, but he makes a mistake with uh, by not angling the tank correctly and he can be panned quite easily by from the by the low plate which uh, my friend here does and he just finished him off with the APCR just to get the, the final kill but look at the gun. The gun really makes wonders. The gun is uh, like totally a laser beam on tier 8. It has uh, 0.301 dispersion as I remember correctly. But I'm using, uh, as I remember, I'm using the uh, calibrated shells, I think. Not, uh, and I'm using also... Uh, I don't know that this equipment, I don't really remember this part of equipment, but it can give you a dispersion lower uh, to 2.28, something like that, uh, which can easily, uh, you can easily pan hatches and uh, hit hatches from even from greater distances. As you can see, look at this shot. It really can, it really can do so much good stuff. You can really, really aim perfectly and hit what you want to hit this tank this in general the, the german guns are really really great at uh, penetration at uh, aiming at dispersion and so on but uh, this tank especially can make really good stuff and it m earns a lot of credits it's like the third as i remember the second or the third tank burst uh, credit in, in the game right after the i think the only the super pershing and the uh angry connor makes uh bigger cash but angry connor is for the guys who really <laughs> want to play it because it's quite a different tank uh, it's not a typical tank it doesn't have really nothing it doesn't have armor it has also a very accurate gun that's all uh but as you can see uh Here's uh you will see how I'm gonna manage to uh, clear those tanks here and on the other side I'm gonna just uh, attack the Type 59. It's two on four. I have no other options. And look, he's angled and still we can easily pan him with AP, which is really really great and I love this gun for it. Uh, and uh, in general, you have to know the good sides and the weak sides of your uh, tank, which you which you're playing. In a typical German, uh, German heavy will have a nice uh, frontal armor, nice turret armor, and uh, if you angle it correctly, uh, just look at the angles. If you angle in it, like uh, if you not side scraping and you just uh, going forward, it's. Uh, it's nice to shoot over the tracks. As you can see, I'm shooting over the tracks. Uh, here I overangled a bit because I wanted to get uh, to hide my tank uh, earlier. But still, if you angle it about 30 degree, you will get a nice bounce. As you can see, even the um, Object 252U, which has a nice alpha gun, 
but not the greatest in penetration but see, look at the shot just almost 300 meters easily easily we get a shot you can really shoot hatches you can shoot hatches on uh, heavily armored tanks like this AT-15 here look I just I will just shoot the hatch and it goes straight in it's really really great gun uh, and if you angle it as I told you if you angle the tank uh, correctly you will get a lot of bounces and uh, I'm, I'm not side scraping here as you can see of course it's a comet it doesn't have great penetration it's at your seven so uh, it's easy to bounce but still uh, it's nice the main let's say the main disadvantage of the German heavies in general is the speed they're not very fast uh, because of the weight they're great for ramming they're great from uh, for mm, side scraping they are really good at uh, just uh, shooting from range and I just wanted to clear this IS unfortunately we bounced the shot on him but we still angling to the Comet and at the same time we're trying to clear him and we we had an offer so <laughs> we just clear him and then my uh, teammate will finish the IS-5 by ram and it's all good just this tank can be sneaky you know it you can really, really you can snipe with it it's really nice tank for sniping but if you're frontlining you'll see me brawling with uh against the type 59 which is quite mobile uh, medium tank with nice turret armor and uh, frontal armor of a typical uh, soviet or chinese medium and you will see how agile the lover is how good are uh, the parameters of uh, traverse of hull and a turret we can easily uh, follow the Type 59. He can outrun us, and we're just draining him, angling and jangling, and just getting uh, bounces from him. And uh, just <laughs> as you can see, if you and look at this, look how great the penetration is. The experimental cheeks are really like fully penetrable. I love the shot, okay? But still, look, he's not like it's not a problem to to just get through his cheeks and if you're angling as you can see he also bounces us so it's all good um what more so if you angle the tank if you side scrape or angle uh, you can easily front lane this tank it has nice uh, nice armor on front it has great gun it has a nice traverse for a heavy it has nice uh, turret traverse for a heavy and uh easily easily he can do uh wonders <coughs> but sorry uh but in general it comes out for most of the heavy tanks of uh german heavy tanks uh to do uh play similar way just angle and uh and, and you get bounces like the black prince isn't maybe uh, the greatest at pan but uh still he i think he's shooting no he, he wasn't shooting apcr he was shooting AP, he just bounced me all the time, there was no no chance he can pen me. Um, and just just look at the gun, if you, in in general, in for the German heavies, if you angle or side scrape and keep a distance even, you can easily hit the targets and you can easily penetrate targets, it goes out for the VKs, uh, for Tiger's P, maybe not Tiger P exactly because uh, it's not great at side scraping, but it has nice frontal armor. But you can side scrape a bit. Uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, side scraping at your back or just angling your front, you will get bounces. Uh, and it's really uh, good to know how to handle the tanks. There can be really really nice. You know, uh, if you if you just take advantage of your uh, good parts we're hiding from the enemies on the right as you can see and we're just pumping damage here now we're gonna angle a bit again it was not shooting us but the tiger he he can easily shoot from the front leg from this distance he, you can shoot weak spots like all day long even from greater distances like 300 meters you will see i will just easily uh hit the targets with no no problem whatsoever so it's really really great i made a mistake here but not side scraping but 
our T49 clear them and we're just gonna get to the back of the AT which can't do really nothing to us and you will see the AT pen as you can see we can easily penetrate and just look at the shot look at the shot the VK okay the VK we can penetrate him angling he sees our <laughs> strong armor profile just backs up and look at the shot just from at least 250 meters easy 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 like no no problem to to, to shoot uh, and aim and uh, just penetrate the targets as you can see uh, I don't know where the shot go really I don't really know we were able to bounce him there's a lightweight and you will see how I would in a second I will brawl against the it's as you can see it's four on five right now and my amigo here dies uh, from the defender which is a nice tank it's really great tank you almost all of you heard about defender that it's uh it's a great tank it's an op tank <laughs> for leather no it isn't just look at this look at the amp i'm shooting ap i'm not shooting apcr look at this he's trying to hide his hatch we're going straight he's bouncing us so no problem it's just it's no problem to, to pan him really for the cheeks for the, the hatch there's no really not a problem for the liver this tank is really really great I tuned two of those with my Amigo Cura uh, many times and we just easily can win games like uh, even if the team isn't great the tune of those two can really do great things and e easily win matches you can easily penetrate you can see the VK 100 okay it was sideways but still it's a really nice tank and look at the traverse of the gun We're easily angling and just shooting the T23 E3 it's a medium tank so it's mobile and we can easily follow him bit of angle he bounces us again and we finished him and now it's two on two so it's really uh even but now it's quite even but they are, have plenty of hp and we don't have many so uh we are one shot for uh for the last like two tanks <laughs> we brawled uh, uh after the brawl with the uh with a defender we were one shot it's two on one as you can see there's the lightweight full HP and we are basically watch it even for uh even if he lows roll uh, low rolls we are basically a one shot for the lightweight uh, good for us our uh, teammate took some of his HP softened him uh, a bit so now we can just again we're angling trying to get a shot here it is and now we're gonna just if we if he pans us we will probably die but still we angling shoot him again angling bounce him and now it's all over we're just gonna finish him off and that's all and here's about the positioning okay this position is really really great on this map if you're playing a heavy on the on dead rail it's a great position for you uh, if you have uh, of course if you have a uh, good gun and uh, decent gun depression Lava, as I remember has eight degrees of gun depression which is enough for this position to uh, to make it uh, really matter as you can see we spotted our meds are flanking we are in the middle just uh, a bit spotting a bit shooting targets basically we're not losing HP and dealing damage and now they, they're trying to push one shot into experimental it's nice and now Borsi came out uh, the experimental there's a waffle there as you can see I was just trying to get some shots uh, just not enough backing up a bit and we're gonna shoot the Borsi as I remember maybe maybe we'll shoot him but yeah we're gonna finish the experimental first it was low health so he he did the job and we just finished him and we can see the Borsik there we're gonna try to shoot the Borsik here it is and bam full roll 575 nice 
And now he's just backing up. He doesn't want to get shit again. And we can see there's a two two rats over here. We're gonna just aim the hatch, bang, and the tiger two is gone. Really good. This position is really great. As you can see, we're just dealing damage, getting nothing in return. Unfortunately, we hit the gun of the waffle, but still we'll finish him later on. As you can see, the mats are just dying one after another. It's four on three, and now it's three on three. And uh, as you can see, there's a Borsik at the back of the map, just camping at spawn, doing uh, really nothing, not much. As I remember from the, he, he didn't uh, do much. He killed one, okay, good for him. Uh, but still, it's gonna be hard. It's three against two. And from position the Borsik is, if I move forward, he will not have any chance of shooting anyone. So I'm just staying here, waiting for them. And of T49, bang, one shot. We we're a bit lucky there. And from the right side, here comes the waffle, as I remember. Yeah, look at the traverse. And bam. Another kill for us. It's already uh, three kills for us. And we're still in the same position. As long as we have shots available. I know. I don't know where the Borsik is, you know. I know where the T49 is. And he knows I, I know where he is. So he's gonna just stay, just spot for the Borsik. Probably he's just doing his work. He, he played it well. He really played it played it well. Uh, and we won this game uh, by just... Uh, I softened up a bit uh, the T49. And uh, finally the Borsik from the back just moved and finished him. Good for him. Good for us. We won the game, so everything's good. And now we just... I, I was hoping to, to, to see that T49 uh, pop up here, but he didn't. But again, we shoot the Borsik, killed him, and it was our fourth and only kill. Now, look how much this tank can bounce. We just bounced the Borsik, okay? Uh, sorry, the Waffle. No problem. If you angle and if he just shoots your... Uh, shoots your... Uh, we bounced him again. Yay, happy days. <laughs> so we already bounced uh, 1,590 damage, line shot. And we bust him again. He hit here our tracks. Everything's good. The lever here is just sitting and blocking our way, so we can't really move forward. But still, we're gonna just keep keep the enemies at us, so they don't shoot the, our team. Remember, if you if you shoot, uh, if you get uh, hit trying to just block the shots, they're not shooting at your uh, team. And again, we angled, get one on tracks, hit him one, side scrape. Unfortunately, we bounced, but side scraping again, get another bounce. It's really easy if you learn how to side scrape well, you will get bounce after bounce after bounce. Okay, so now let's just summarize how to play uh, German heavy tanks. In, in, in general, heavy tanks. Try to, if you can, try to go hold down. If you can't go hold down, try to side scrape. If you can't side scrape, try to angle the front so it's hard to penetrate. Uh, try not to stay at the open because if you're at the open in slow tank, especially in the middle of a map, you will probably get evaporized in a matter of seconds. Uh, use hard cover as a rocks, uh, mountains, uh, houses, and so on. Use soft cover like bushes, trees, and so on. And uh, you will try, you probably you will succeed. Try to get shots and not get shots back. And if you do get shots back, try to angle to get a bounce. And I hope, at least I hope, I did you give you some uh, good information, uh, especially for the beginner players, because uh, those more experienced already know that. But I decided to just make this video for the for the guys that are new to the game and try to get some info. So that's all for today. If you like my channel, please subscribe, uh, write a comment, give me a thumbs up, and catch you all on the battlefield. Bye bye.